When we, I was doing my apprenticeship, we basically got a road planer from coming in every two weeks to six weeks with this method. Customers like the way we hard face buckets because they do get better results with the wear and tear on the blade and also it basically identifies your bucket and it's harder for people to steal buckets as a more personalised. My name is Rich Holt and this is Fabrication by Design. Fabrication by Design has been going for three and a half years now. We just set the business up to try and push the boundaries in fabrication and be a little bit different. In the early, early days we basically had to take work where we could find it and try and convince people how we wanted to go the extra mile. So a lot was on farm equipment and engineering companies and from that it spanned into the steam world where a hobby was and then we picked up with a large demolition firm and basically we worked with them and we pushed the boundaries on several different projects. This is a standard bucket for a 30 ton excavator and basically we, this has been dropped into us at Fab by Design to be hard faced and basically given a bit more life. This point here, this is where all the material will be hitting. So over time this will get low, this will wear, which basically causes the bucket to lose its strength and can cause it to crack. Try and eliminate that by putting wear protection on with hard facing. The reasons we do this method is real simple. Imagine if you had some pebbles on a beach, you threw a bucket of water in and they were in a straight line it wear the sand away. What we do is, but with a bit of a twist, give it loads of different wear patterns. If you put pebbles all in different directions, throw the bucket in, it wears the stones, not the sand. Exactly the same method when you dig in one of these buckets. What people used to do was weld rebar on, uh, basically just do solid strips or just solid lines of hard facing wire. What's really different with the way we do it is basically we heat the steel up, temp it and then put the wire down in loads of different directions so it has more places to wear. Where this is different to the other methods is basically when the material goes in, stone, clay or mud, basically it doesn't have a path to follow. It basically wears the hard facing wire we've put down rather than the blade. The people behind the levers are the people with the knowledge, not myself. We're design, fabrication, love to push the boundaries. We need to work with the guys behind the levers who can tell us where the weaknesses are, where the strengths are, and what they think would improve our product. There's no limitations to how much we can personalise these buckets and keep it effective with basically the wear and tear.